Welcome back to Africa 54. I'm Cynthia Are. Tomatoes are in trouble. A recent outbreak of tuta absoluta, a disease ravaging tomato farms in Nigeria, has led to scarcity and high prices for this essential ingredient. Everyone is affected regardless of whether they are farmers or consumers. But a search for solutions is underway. Fresh tomato, once a staple component of many Nigerian meals, is disappearing from dining tables because of the outbreak of a disease called tuta absoluta. In markets, the price of the vegetable is increasing every day because farmers are unable to harvest enough. It's not today two costs now. Uh, it put two costs. If they buy before 3,000, 4,000, now it's 6,000. For this must you will see the basket here. We started using tin tomatoes instead of the fresh tomatoes. The tin tomatoes, as they say, that the preservatives are uh, harmful to our health, as they say. And so we don't have any option but to use that one, Sha. But we know they, they, are, they can't compare. The fresh tomatoes is far better. The situation is grim on the farms as tomato farmers watch their farms reduced to nothing owing to the invasion by the pest. This is the tomato leaf mine, or the tuta absoluta, which is doing so much damage all over the world to the tomato uh, industry. I've had all of this one hectare of, uh, of greenhouse full with tomato plants. There's about 30,000 tomato plants in here. And within two weeks, the tuta absoluta has destroyed everything. When this problem came up, National Horticultural Research Institute, the institute with the mandate for tomato research in Nigeria, swung into action. We started with um, this trap to catch the adult, and we found out that it wasn't very effective. And so we came up with an innovation. We developed a tray about 45 cm wide and about 5 cm deep with water and a little detergent in it. And we put a stone in the middle of the bowl with a lamp. Because this insect is nocturnal, in the night they love light. They flap around the, 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 the lights, and by the time they do that, they fall into the water. Then all the surroundings, we kept them clean. And coupled with that, we were able to reduce loss by 57%. The government is also working on finding urgent solutions to bring an end to the scarcity of the crop as a country is losing revenue. We're in contact now with a group which has dealt with this in other countries and which is offering us a solution. In the next few days, we shall get to work on this and begin treatment. This is to assure Nigerians that government is taking very serious steps to deal with this disease and jointly attack this pest. While efforts to contain the disease continue, it has taken a heavy toll on a country once ranked the second largest tomato producer in Africa. Consumers continue to hope and pray for an end to the scourge. You're watching Africa 54. Now from the fruits of the vine to that of the tree, South Africa's coffee scene is booming, driven by better beans and awareness about the origins of the brew. Here's viewers Anita Powell in Johannesburg. Wake up, South Africa. The coffee revolution is here. The instant swill of the past is giving way to carefully sourced beans at outposts like Johannesburg's Urban Grind. Artisanal coffee shops like this are popping up everywhere in South Africa. But what makes this coffee revolution different is an emphasis on origins. Roasters are working closely with farmers and suppliers for better prices and better farming methods. And what that adds up to, they say, is a better cup for everyone. I want to know the farmer who picked this coffee, the farmer who processed this coffee, so that I can better describe that to the customer at the end of the day who's drinking the coffee. And the only reason why that's taking place is because the customer is becoming more discerning. They want to taste better coffee. They want to experience better coffee. Believe it or not, they're asking questions about how sustainable is this coffee? What are you doing around this coffee? How are we working with this coffee? And that is this new wave that is hit. And coffee pays. Market Research Group Insight Survey says South African coffee shops have seen impressive growth in the last two years, with a 7% jump in income. 
But Jermina Chole, manager and head barista at Johannesburg's A Perfect Cup Cafe, says it's not just about the business of the bean. The proper coffee, it's so nice. Once you start drinking it, you'll never go back. Yes, you taste the origin, the flavor, the strength, and then you know how it goes, yeah. Then you'll never go back to drinking the instant coffee. Her most popular bean, she says, is a single origin Ugandan coffee, which is roasted in-house. She says customers often request it by name, a sign, she says, that South Africa's drinkers are becoming more discerning cup by cup. Anita Powell, VOA News, Johannesburg. And that's our show for today. Remember that all of the world's biggest news stories are available around the clock on the VOA website, voaafrica.com. I'm Vincent McCoy in Washington. Thanks to my co-host, Cynthia, across the Atlantic in Lagos. It's been a pleasure, but before I go, let me put in a plug for our space on the web, channelstv.com. You can also find us at youtube.com forward slash channels web. I'm Cynthia Are. Thanks for watching and so long for now.